Hi, and welcome to another Amanda Adams Auctions Overview, and welcome back to 2010. For our first auction of 2010, we have eight deceased estates lined up, and they're all marvellous deceased estates with rare and unique items, including over 50 items of Moorcroft, uh, especially large pieces like this. And if you walk around the room, we can see just a small selection of the Moorcroft, you can see it all along the walls here. These are large pieces. Just follow me this way. And we've got other smaller pieces in the cabinets. Got a good view of that. And there's more pieces here in these cabinets. And the exciting thing about it all, most of the items of the Moorcroft are unreserved. They have to be sold. So this is your chance to pick up a real bargain. So come down and view this. Our viewing time for next week will be uh, Friday the 12th. Is that right? Yeah. Friday the 12th of February, 12 a.m. to 8 p.m. Saturday the 13th from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. Sunday morning before the auction, 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. And the auction starts at 11 a.m. We're here at Amanda Adams Auction Valuation Day and we're just consigning uh, for our February auction uh, two uh, Grand Ferguson R160 chairs. They'll be coming up at the uh, February auction. We're going to estimate 4,000 to 6,000 each. And they've been in the one home since they were purchased new. And this is the owner, if she wants to say hello, who's selling the, who's selling the chairs. This is from her parents' estate, correct? Yes. Did you hear that okay? okay. And we'll follow these chairs through in our February auction video. And this is a Danish, sterl no, Norwegian sterling silver bowl with enamel decorations by David Anderson. Large bowl in fantastic condition. No reserve, it's going to be sold. We've got an estimate of 50 to $100. So where else can you pick up something like that for that price? It is unreserved. Grand Feverson 1952 R160 armchairs. And how often do you come across a matching pair? Now, these are up at our auction. In fact, we've already lotted them up, lot 85 and 86. These belong in a museum. The condition's fantastic, but they're here to be sold. Every auction we have rare, unusual pieces, especially in Australian pottery. And this auction's no exception. Uh, we've got two rare pieces of Ramoud. And look at the unusual colours in this one. Uh, the aubergine glaze indicates this is made in around about 1933. And it also has the kangaroo paw marks on it, which means it's a rare piece. Another one's come all the way down from Mildura. This piece from another estate. Also to be sold. There's also a rare piece of John Campbell. And this one's decorated uh, with a koala. It's a wall pocket with a koala from um, early 1930s. How often do you come across these? These are rare. There's also a rare pair of 1930s Walter Boss little bookends, figural bookends. And these are, these are stunning. And the glaze is exceptional on them. In this cabinet, we have some interesting rare silver bits. These have come in from the same estate of the Grand Ferguson armchairs. These are Russian silver and Nilo work from the 1860s. Six spoons. Interesting uh, little uh, golf Vesta, also from the estate. If you look carefully in, the ca uh, in this cabinet, there's some really rare, unusual items. And there's also stunning bits of jewellery, diamond rings, does it suit me? Insurance value evaluation on this one, more than $10,000. Estimate two to two and a half thousand. 
I'm going to show you this. Almost forgot. Almost forgot. A little cribbage uh, board inlaid with Tunbridge ware. Love little piece. This came in late. It only came in a few days ago. It's from an estate in Kew. Here to be sold, unreserved. Have a look at this stunning sterling silver Georgian um, salver. Ball and claw footed. I think it's London 1770. This one's also unreserved. Every auction we have some wonderful artwork from various estates and private sources. I'll show you my highlights, the ones that I really love, which includes the Arthur Merch nude uh, of, uh, I think it's an Avalon in the late 40s. Another one I love, if you follow me over this way, this is a stunning work by Robert Grieve. Uh, Mother and Child, I think 1955, the late Robert Grieve was a important uh, Australian social realist artist in the 50s and then he became a modernist and abstract artist uh, in the 60s onwards. This is an early work, uh, Mother and Child, where else are you going to find one like that? This one, it's by James Jackson, Berry's Bay Evening. Um, lovely oil, circa 1955-1960. Estimate two to three thousand, but it is unreserved. It's going to be sold in the auction. For all you David Bromley lovers, we have got two really nice works in the auction. Uh, the nude up here, I think it was Diana, and the little pensive boy up here. Uh, estimates on both of them are very low. I think three and a half, four to four to five, or three and a half to four and a half thousand. Good value. Also, a fantastic little pro heart, and this one. I think we counted them, I think there was 11 ants, so you, you can count them if you like. This one also has his original DNA on the back. Very nice work. Vibrant colours, lots of ants. We have to tell you about this stunning little bull fold over French card table. Late 19th century, maybe 1880. Uh, we sold it at the auction uh, back in 2002 for $11,500. So this is your potential to pick up a wonderful build table in superb condition for only a fraction of the value. And how often do you come across these? these this is rare. There's another superb little table over here too, which you have, should have a look at. This is a Burr Walnut one. And it's interesting, it's got, it has got adjustable uh, legs on it. Interesting finial on the base. Can you see the condition of it? Nothing needs to be done to it. And to be sold without reserve, basically, with estimate aided on this, two to three thousand, but it is there to be sold. We've got heaps of Oriental items in the auction too. We shouldn't forget to mention there's more than 60 or 70 Oriental ceramic pieces, including these lovely little teak Tea poise or tea canisters. What, what, what would you call them? What do we call them again? Tea bins. Tea bin sounds better to me. Yeah. Tea bins signed. Low estimate on these two. Lovely decorator pieces. We have a limited edition signed Jossel Bergner book with a, a screen print inside. And this one's rare. This one is exceptionally rare. This is a David Boyd limited edition passionate journey book inside it has an etching signed and also signed this came from the estate of Nadine Amadio who was his biographer and this is signed by both David Boyd and Nadine Amadio this is number 10 of 100 this one here is a book called Elves and Fairies uh, by Ida Rental Oofwaite. And this doesn't come up that often to, at all. How often you come, come across a book like this? It's reasonably good condition. It's got a bit of acid in the paper, but that's, that's not a problem. 